distance 300 yards, 34.3 power zoom, 22250, 50 grain VMAX, Hornady Verma Express. Three hundred yard shot, twenty-two, two hundred and fifty, fifty grain V max, right here. Horny D Varmint Express. We'll be shooting at this block of clay from a distance of three hundred yards with a twenty-two, two hundred and fifty, using the Hornady Varmint Express fifty grain V max bullet. Walking up to the 10 pound block of clay that was just now hit at a distance of 300 yards with a 22250, 50 grain VMAX Hornady Varmint Express. Looks like it hit it pretty good, and the force of it obviously knocked the water jug over behind it. The water jug behind it, it, it doesn't look like any bullet fragments went in there. I think it was just the sheer force that hit it that caused some hydrostatic damage. The clay itself, pick this up. Uh, it's hard to know really where it got hit. It looks like this side here was the bottom side though. And so that right there would have been the back side that was facing away from me. So basically it probably would have been about like so when it got hit. And not really a lot left to it. You can see where it pushed the clay down into the crate. I don't know if I can find any bullet or bullet fragments in here. We'll look, see if we can find anything for you. Um, maybe when I get home, I'll find some bullet fragments in there, but nothing is really jumping out at me at this point. Getting the rifle zeroed in at 300 yards for a clay shot. This is a shot with a 204 Ruger, 40 grain Hornady Superformance, 300 yards. And let's just hope I can hit that shot when it counts for real in a minute on the clay. We'll be shooting at this 10 pound block of clay from a distance of 300 yards with a 204 Ruger using the 40 grain VMAX. Hornady Superformance. Walking up right now to the 10 pound block of clay that was just hit at a distance of 300 yards with a 204 Ruger 40 grain VMAX Hornady Superformance. It would appear that the water jugs are unharmed, nothing went through, and as far as the clay is concerned, I don't know if you guys could see it on the film or not, but I could definitely see some pieces of clay raining down from the sky in my rifle scope after the shot. It appears like this part here would have been facing the uh, crates. So basically, 
we were to reset this on here, um, it probably was sitting close to something like this when it got hit. And I don't see any bullet fragments in there at all. And this is the top of it. And there is the back side of it right there. So it's probably sitting like that when it got hit, is my best guess. My best accident recreation. And as you can see, this part right here just got really peeled back pretty good. And there you have it at 300 yards. So I just got through finished shooting the 204 Ruger 40 grain VMAX. So I thought I would zero the rifle with the uh, 32 grain VMAX. I have not touched the crosshairs at all. I just kind of wanted to see where I would be at from 300 yards. As you might recall, I hit right about here with the uh, 40 grain VMAX. And with the 32 grain VMAX hitting about, I don't know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch above it at 300 yards without adjusting the scope. We'll be shooting this 10 pound block of clay at a distance of 300 yards with the 204 Ruger using the Hornady Superformance 32 grain VMAX bullet. Walking up to the 10 pound block of clay that was just hit at a distance of 300 yards with a 204 Ruger 32 grain VMAX Hornady Superformance. The target that was on the clay appears to be unharmed. So my best guess is that I hit it just a little bit high to the right. So I did not exactly hit a bullseye. That's the bad news. But the good news is that you don't have to hit bullseyes to have amazing results at 300 yards with this bullet. I mean, just take a look. I mean, it, it did not get through to the water jugs. You can even see, if you look close, some bullet, some, rema some remainder of bullet fragment right there. And there, some bullet flakes. Let's see what's on the other side here. Here's the other side. Take a look at the back of it. It seems like maybe the bullet wanted to get out of there right there. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. So that's the damage at 300 yards with a 204 Ruger 32 grain VMAX Hornady Superformance. Let's check the bottom of this guy. Looks like it pushed him downward a little bit. Not as much as some of the others. Distance 300 yards, 34.3 power zoom, 22250, 50 grain VMAX, Hornady Verma Express.